Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and I want to send salutations to all the Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, so this lesson is going to be directed towards um, this rapper uh, named Sweetie. She's a rapper, and she's basically in a relationship with another rapper named Quavo. All right, and uh, basically she's just a a popular slut. And uh, there was something she did recently when she was a part of an interview. She, something she said which basically promotes the vibration of this society to basically keep this um, vibration of uh, whorish behavior uh, going. Um, this girl is basically materialistic. Um, she is really the epitome of um, woe to her, woe to her that live in, in pleasure, all right? Woe to you women that are at ease. You know what I mean? Because the way things she raps about, she raps about materialistic things, you know, thirty thousand dollar purses and and if you you know, if your man can't afford that, get rid of him. She she you know, she just talks that way. She's a shameless dog. And um there was just something that uh basically it's been um you know, basically the hot topic in social media. Um, she basically said something that was, uh, controversial in this interview. And, you know, you know how these interviews go when they talk about all kind of different topics, you know, you know, you know, and sex came up and basically the guy asked her, you know, would you give your, you know, your boyfriend a threesome and would you add and, and, and would you let him add another girl? to the bedroom all right this broad had the nerve to say that she would give her man permission to add another man into the bedroom <laughs> so that but listen that's not a threesome that's a train when two men are having sex with one woman or just multiple men are having sex with one woman that's a train that's men running a train on a girl. She proposed that would happen instead of adding another woman. All right, which is which. All this is completely off. All right, but that's what she said she would do. So, you know, I'm gonna give you the audience able to to hear her, and I'm gonna get one scripture. I'm not even gonna spend most of my time on this. It just goes to show how the scriptures are unfolding and and it shows you the the image of how it's it's playing out. You see it playing out in our community to the fullest. The wickedness of our people are being put on full display for us, you know, as spiritual people. And you see stuff like this, you'd be like, Listen, that's just Babylon. The giving all these women this type of freedom to do this and speak this way is just the way it's supposed to be because it was prophesied so I'm going to let this clip uh, go and then I'm going to get the scripture all of y'all okay so that shopping spree that's good thing that's all of that's that. good thing good. that's communication tongue in your butt picking up the phone one ring sucking your toes paying on your bills oh my oh, god wow. And okay. you want to make him happy, finally, because he you put him through hell. So a threesome, right? You put him through hell. A threesome, hell. right, ladies? Right. Threesome. I normally talk to men who are cultured, who's been around the world, who know a lot of people. Right. Um, it's so, on you, though. You yeah, yeah, no, 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 I understand that. But because he's doing everything right, I'm going to give him the honor of picking the nigga who we're going to have a threesome with. Oh! Oh! 
Hold up. That's not a yeah. Hold up. That's a what? Hold up. No. Hold up. Let me talk now. B B game. I'm a sleeper. Yo, man. <laughs> Oh, man. A woman and two men is a train. That's not a three. No. Could you be with a man you make? <laughs> All right. So basically, she she just admitted. It, it, it just goes to show. I'm trying to put it in the right words. You know, the fact that she can, the fact that she would go, knowing that this video was gonna go on the internet, and that you know that hundreds of thousands you can see in the video, uh, 515,000 people seen this. And then it's on countless uh, programs all over the internet. The fact that you would put that out there and say something like that and have no shame goes to show how she is a shameless dog like the Bible speaks of. Our women have no respect for themselves. And women in general. Alright, this is why that king, I believe in, uh, yeah, in Ezra, or Esther, Esther, in the book of Esther, when his wife, you know, or his queen, uh, basically uh, rejected his offer, you know what I'm saying, to come out, you know, when he commanded her to come out, you know what I mean? Basically, he gave her a command. Uh, I forget, I had to refresh the, my memory on the story, but he basically gave her a, a command, like, to come out, you know what I'm saying, and she rejected him. In front of all the people that were in the audience, he, it, there were other princes and kings and queens in the audience, and she and this woman, this queen, rejected the king's request. And the other kings were like, "Listen, you, listen, you're gonna have to do something about this because if our women see this, they're gonna think that they can rebel also." So then eventually he went and got, you know, uh, Esther, you know, and got Esther prepared for him. Uh, and she became queen. But it just goes to show how when you allow women to act this way, it, it's just like a domino effect. It's like a, a snowball effect. One woman, then the next woman, then the next woman. And then it's a culture thing. And now you got a culture of rebellious women. As you can see, and you got other women in the background cheering this on, talking about, yeah, yeah, girl, and all this stuff. That's wicked as hell, man. That she would even go on this platform, social media platform, and say that she will allow her, her man to add another man in the bedroom to have sex with her. Man, listen, man. Let me go ahead and get it, man. This is, uh, let me go ahead and, uh, let me see, where do I want to go? Okay, yeah, um, I'm sorry, eight, this is Ecclesiasticus 26 and 8, it says, a drunken woman and they gather abroad causes great anger and she shall not cover her own shame the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids and if you go back man that's all that's all she got if you really look at her you know what i'm saying <laughs> if you really look at it it's like could you be with a man you make more money than look at her and you see that her haughty looks and eyelids and things of that nature that's what you see you would know her by that you know what I mean like that's the whoredom of our people man fake fake nails fake hair fake eyelids makeup all over the place it's just that's just the vibe man that's just the vibe you know it says if thy daughter be shameless Keep her in straightly, 
lest she abuse herself through much liberty. So that's much freedom. When you give these women this much freedom to 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 think that they could, you know what I'm saying, be uh you know, that they can be over men, that they can serve authority over a man, that you know what I'm saying, that <laughs> that they don't <laughs> That, you know, even working, man, they want to they want to be just like the man so they can make so much money that they don't have to be under a man no more. You know what I mean? What a woman is supposed to be a help to a man. But she want to work so that she can serve authority over a man. She want to be in competition with a man. All right. This is what happens when you give women much liberty. All right. All right. So this is what happens, man. Watch over an uh, imputed eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. And that's what you got all through the nation of Israel. Women trespassing against men. Their husbands, their fathers, etc. man. Alright? It says she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when, she, when, he, when he hath found a fountain and drink of every uh, water near her. By every hodge, she uh, sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. Meaning she just a hoe. She's going from next guy to the next guy. And that's the vibe of our women. That's the vibe. It's the whole damn vibe, man. And then it's crazy. Her boyfriend, Quavo, spent millions on her. Why would you spend millions of dollars on a damn slut? That's his loss. So anyway, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai.